Man, oh man. YouTube, salutations, greetings, aloha, malika koala, um, konnichiwa, um, sabi. Yo, what's good, y'all? Hey, man. So, I've been getting a lot of questions, messages, comments about where the hell am I eating this massive amount of calorie steak that I have purchased from no other than yours truly, Ralph's. Rufus? Ralph's. Ralph's. Yours truly's. Ralph's. Now, this steak is pretty much 1,000 calories, above 1,000 calories by the time I'm done cooking it because you gotta think about, you know, the butter that you put in it and just the butter that you put in it and some olive oil. So butter's in fat, high in fat, crazy high in fat, crazy high in calories. This one steak has four ounces, four ounces per one serving. There is four servings in this steak, okay? And it costs about, hmm, let's see. I think it costs about 12 bucks per steak. I kid you not, it costs about 12 bucks per steak. And I usually grab like 10 of them, all right? I'm down to my last one. My last steak, ladies and gentlemen. So, here it is, organic beef ribeye. This is how big it is. Would you think that this steak could have about over a thousand calories for, for just this one serving? It's a thousand calories, almost a thousand, between 900 and a, and a thousand. One, one. All right, so let's, let's go over some stats real quick. 240 calories, uh, 150 from fat. Uh, total fat, 17 grams, saturated fat, eight grams. Um, sodium, you know, which is going to be more sodium than what's shown. Um, carb carbohydrates, zero, of course. Protein, 22 grams of protein. Once again, four ounce, four servings. Four ounce a serving. There's four servings per package. This is organic beef ribeye steak, okay, from Simply Truth Organic. It's not that big, dude. It's not. Like, I eat this like nothing. I could eat two if I wanted to. You know, two if I wanted to. You know what you do, what you wanna do. Uh oh, I'ma do that thing to you. You know, I'll put it on you, girl, and I'll find. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Let's not go there today. I'm gonna pretty much show you how I cook this steak. Um, I mean, usually when I make this steak, I have car. I, I eat carbs with this steak, like along with just this, this steak and and carbs. And like I try not to have carbs for the rest of the day. Now, this is a very good quick meal for you guys. I'm, I'm all about quickness. I don't like I don't like things that take too long. If I'm going to cook it, you all wrong. Uh, um, Keisha will probably make something that probably takes longer. You know, you seen the video of me cooking the chicken, but I've been having at least two to three steaks a week. All right, and what else I add into the steak is none other than. So we got this freezer rice. You literally have the rice in the freezer, frozen. Frozen, as you see right here. You take it out, and what do you do? Boom, take it out. You put it in the microwave. Three maninto. Three minutes, and that rice is done. Now, I usually start this about when this is halfway done. So we're just gonna let that sit right there and ready for the, the button to be pressed at any moment because once this steak gets going, the going gets going. All right, so we're gonna do that right now, guys. So what we're gonna do is get the good pots. Pots and pans and skillets. The good pots and pans and skillets are here. And the light, huh? Looking nice. All right, so this is what we do right here. Get some of that black pepper. Black pepper right here. Boom. Get some of that garlic powder right here. Boom. Got some Jack Daniels about to be gone. But oh, the 
there's another right behind it. That Jack Daniel steak seasoning. Boom. A little bit of aviolola. Al oh, olive, olive oil. Got a little bit of that olive oil. You need that sea salt, you know. We need that garlic salt, you know. And we need that onion salt, you know. Last thing you need. Garlic herb butter that you won't cover. Oh no, mother. You know what I'm saying? You need that. So boom, bop, bam, we're going to cut this bad boy out. I'm going to heat this up a little bit already and uh, prepare this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Got a little oil in that thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this thing on a very low heat for the moment. As soon as, I, as soon as that steak is done, it's done being prepped, I want that. When I, when I put it down, I'm going to be like... Put in the oil. Good steak. Good steak. She's just banging. It's banging, Michael. It is bad. Chris, I can get that steak. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I bet you never know, man. You can't eat that steak. Chris, I can eat that steak. What's your mom then? What's your mom? Watch. Doom, 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 doom. Mm, 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 mm. And girl, I'm never getting enough. That's why I always have to have you here. Woo! Rock my world, rock my world. Anything I gonna give, and I'll need love to redefine what like you to come by. You rock my world, Jack. Yeah. Lord, steak just like feels it feels so fatty, y'all. Here you go, the steak right here. I feel like it's just held together by so much fat. Oh my ouch, I hit my head. All right, so we season that bitch with some salt. Boom, slight, slight amount of salt because we have three different salts we have regular sea salt, onion salt, and garlic salt. Garlic powder. I don't think I need the black pepper. I don't need the black pepper actually. If you got the Jack Daniels, I forgot you don't need the black pepper. There'll just be too much going on. You can just smother it with this bad boy. All of this, once again, you can get from Ralph's. Pat it in a little bit. Flip it around. Damn, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it should just fall apart. Like, that's how fatty this joint is. There we will. Pump up the volume. Dance, dance. You drive me crazy. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember that commercial? You drive me crazy. Uh, uh. Like, when he's like late night and that shit just come on. You just hear that. Uh, yeah, she is banging. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right, get that, get that mm on there. Let it sit on one side for three minutes. We got it on between high and medium heat. Flip it three minutes. Boom! I like my steak medium. So once that, when I flip it over, that is when we head over there to put the rice in. Well, to start the rice, it's already in there, but yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. We got a minute and 48, 47 seconds left. So, what I'm gonna do is take this bad boy, this bad boy right here, and I go around it. I'm 
go around it, you know what I'm saying? And then I pat the top, pat the top. I didn't say this was gonna be a super healthy steak. I just said it was gonna be a crazy calorie steak. But well, that thing is over there cooking, man. All right, so it's time to flip that. Uh, it was acting a pretty loose earlier, so I'm gonna use a spatula to flip it. I don't use a spatula to flip a steak. But, god damn, over here making steak burgers. Damn, that's looking good. So as I said, now it's time to come over here. Three minutes, that rice will be done by the time this steak's done. Steak is done. Boom. It's done. Broccoli is chilling right now. Hey, I miss the days where I used to put sugar in this. <laughs> sugar and white rice, yo. Comment below if you did the same thing. With some butter? Oh my gosh. That shit is better than fucking ice cream. No, sugar? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. That some is butter, angry. some butter, sugar, and rice is crack. It's crack. All right. Better than ice cream. Not compared to rice. Just because you cream. love ice cream, don't mean you know. We're about to taste this joint. Y la chona se mueve, y la gente le grita. No es mejor que la chona para la quebradita. This, this, thumbnail photo. <laughs> you don't be a mouth hurt. <laughs> Move forehead, why you eat my food? Yo, you just over here cutting shit. I couldn't get it cut. What do you mean you couldn't get it up? It's from the bite. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.